Dude, we should do this. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> Fries weren't good. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Take me out for some hot dogs. The bright lights of hot dogs in Chicago have beacon me. And they've beacon me here to ducks. Red hot. This place is started by two guys, Mervyn Duckett and Donald Marsal, and it was originally called Donald Duck's Red Hots. But you know what happened? Disney came and said, no! We need more money! We're greedy corporate shills! And they sued him. And to settle, they shortened it to Duck's Red Hots, and they've been here since 1957, serving hot dogs. They've been put into the Vienna Beef Hall of Fame. And this is a place that serves quality hot dogs, and otherwise Vienna beef would be putting them in the Hall of Fame. But I'm here to try them out and see just how good these hot dogs are. They've been around since 1957, still the same owner, and they've been placed into the Vienna Beef Hall of Fame. So Vienna Beef is the preeminent Chicago hot dog. Of course, now, we got a good bun experience. The bun feels good, and look at this good quality looking bun. They are uh, steamed in that tray over there, the hot dogs. Now we'll have to see how the hot dogs actually taste. I'm going to give this a double. Good hot dogs, quality hot dogs, quality taste. Snap. Is minimal, but it does have a good taste to it, good blend. Now we got the chili dog. The chili and cheese dog. Look at this. Look at that chili and cheese. Look at that chili. Look at that cheese. Oof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, it's hot too. Steamy chili. Sloppy, cheesy, perfection. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give the chili talk a trip. Yeah, very good. You have the pizza pot? All right. Now this is a little bonus review. This is something called a pizza puff. I had never heard of this before. But it's apparently the Chicago specialty. And it's like a, a pastry that's deep fried with the pizza sauces inside. Mm. You might need to let this cool down for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a little hot. That's too hot to even taste. <laughs> Take two thumbs. All right, I'm gonna get the fries. Average fries. Not the type of fries that are exciting to excite me. Good afternoon, guys. So here. All right, I'm going to give the fry a 6.7. Average fries. Not as crunchy as I would like, but if you're, um, the food here, it comes with it, it's perfect. Perfect match. 
Give me like two minutes and I'll try the pizza puff again. Take two. All right, pizza puff take two. All right, Mikey. I think it's cooled down enough where I can actually taste it now. Yep. Definitely very good. It's got a, I like the I like the uh, crispness of the outside. And it's a yeah, good quality sauce in it. Not, uh, not just like a, a, a fake sauce in there. It's a good quality sauce. I'm going to give this a 6.8. Much has changed over the uh, 65 years that they've been open here. They're still owned by the same people, and they're still serving quality hot dogs. There's a time to this place. You know the signs might fade, but they still are the same signs, the same lights, the same tables. Everything here is the same, and that's what keeps hot dog fans coming back. That's why they're in. The Vienna Beef Hall of Fame. So, uh, if you know any more places like this, leave a comment below where I should go next. You know, and also click like, subscribe, so you can know when my next hot dog review is coming out. And of course, always buy the shirt so you can be raw dogging with me in spirit. You get the raw dogging on road shirt, or you can get the original classic raw dog shirt. So just keep it going, keep raw dogging. Keep enjoying these great places. Keep telling me where to go, and I'll keep going. Because I'm not stopping until I try a hot dog place in every state, and I'm gonna try every big name hot dog that's out there. That's why I'm raw dog. Keep raw dog. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about and it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> on the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dogging places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. You can get it right now at the Barstool store.